some of you know what that that sticker means right there um i've got some new film tools um and i'm excited to take a look i don't do as many unboxings as i used to but i kind of want to uh to do one because i'm excited about these tools and i wanted to unbox them so here we are let's go ahead and grab a knife and get one of the boxes up here so film tools are very important to me they are uh, pieces of technology that I use to capture video. Uh, now that may be for um, a video like this, some sort of a technology video or a camera related video, or they could be for capturing video for uh, a, a commercial project or a wedding or something like that. And I have always, always, since they first came out and started getting affordable, loved camera gimbals and so this is the DJI Ronin MX now this isn't new it's been out for a little while I've actually rented one of these a couple of times but the Ronin MX is essentially um, a camera gimbal for small to medium sized cameras uh, DJI came out with their Ronin a while ago the Ronin was uh, kind of a game changer because of its price point and its, uh, its price point was just fantastic in comparison to everything else that was out there. Now many of you probably know of DJI because of their Phantom drones and uh, the different drones that they make and I definitely have some of those products. But uh, the camera gimbals and camera accessories that they have you may or may not be as familiar with. Um, so let's take a look at what comes inside. So this is uh, uh, probably the camera base plate here. Let's go ahead and pull that out. We've got two batteries. One of the things that I like about this model is that it does have two batteries as opposed to the first one, which um, you know, you'd get it all powered up and you'd use it and then a battery would go dead and that was it, you know, it had to power down. This one you can hot swap batteries. You can also, here's the remote for it, which I probably won't use. I don't typically um, use the remote when it comes to camera gimbals, so I'll just probably leave that in the box. Down here is the gimbal unit itself. And let's see if there's anything down in the bottom. Yes, of course. The stand in which you tune it. The tuning stand. So we'll go ahead and pull that out probably some little tools and whatnot and that is not it there's more handles charger power probably for software updates micro USB And then this is a, it looks like maybe a power distribution cable or something like that. One of the other things that I was really excited about with this model is with the dual batteries, and I know you could have done this with other Ronin models, but with the dual batteries, you're actually able to power your devices. So, you know, earlier days in shooting Sony uh, meant, you know, you get your setup all done. You have that tiny Sony battery and when the battery runs out, you are, you're kind of in trouble. You have to <laughs> unmount the camera and all that stuff and rebalance it and everything. It's just a huge pain. But uh, with being able to share power between the Ronin with its two big batteries and your camera, that leaves less that you need to change the battery for because the Ronin is, it, the Ronin will run for quite a long time on these dual batteries and in sharing power between the batteries and the camera, that means that you don't have to dismount your camera nearly as often. So here's the Ronin gimbal unit itself. Here's uh, the top plate, I believe, for the camera. This is the camera plate. These items here are the handles. We've got the batteries, 
this I believe goes in here. We have your top handle. And I'm guessing, you know, that maybe this is for some sort of balancing now because everything looks like it's mounted here. Um, so this probably is e either a mount to mount it to the, um, uh, the Matrice, I think is what it's called. It's their bigger drone that can carry this unit. That's most likely what this is probably for, um, is for mounting it to the drone. You mount this on here, you rot rotate these up and mount these to the drone. That's my guess. Probably not gonna need that. I think what I'm gonna need here is everything that's here. So let's go ahead and get this thing assembled and then we'll look and see what's in the other box. All right, so I also ordered the grip and the thumb controller. The thumb controller is great because it gives you some control over the uh, the gimbal um, manually, which I really like because of course you can steer your gimbal, but it's also kind of good to have maybe a little bit of thumb control. I like that. Um, this is a great addition. The Ronin M grip, this is going to give a lot more usability uh, and flexibility to the gimbal itself. Here you have the handles and of course you can hand hold it and go into briefcase mode and do all that stuff and hold it up high, but this gives you a full grip all the way around the unit which allows you to hold it in a variety of different ways. And so I'm super excited to set this up and get it mounted on the gimbal as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so I'm super excited to get out and start filming with this. Uh, I've used this model before, like I said, with a couple of shoots that we've had in the past. I've rented one, and I'm super excited to own one. I've owned the uh, the Ronin M in the past, and also a Freefly Movi M5. Uh, so I'm excited to have the MX here with its uh, extended capabilities, and uh, of course the ability to uh, to run my Sony cameras on them. So uh, I'm gonna get this set up with a Sony camera, do some shooting, and I'll probably be back with a full review later. So thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, uh, just so you can see everything, what it comes with, and how to set it up. It's not too challenging. Uh, the slightly more challenging part, of course, is tuning it and getting it set up for the first time and finding out the way that it best flows for you. That's gonna take practice. So a unit like this is not something that you're gonna power on and it's gonna be perfect. Of course, uh, it will power on and work just fine, but fine tuning it using the DJI uh, Ronin app that you can get uh, for your mobile device uh, or even you can connect it to your computer. That is where you're gonna fine tune it and get it working the way that you want it to work uh, so that it best fits the way that you film. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks so much for checking it out. Uh, if you're interested in more, make sure to click on the subscribe button for this channel. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. We will be back soon with a review and maybe some tuning tips on using the Ronin MX. So make sure to look out for that. Take care.